Hey guys, today I have a nail polish haul for you and I decided to split apart my haul from this past week into um, nail polish in one video and everything else in another. So I'm going to do my nail polish part now. And I placed an order this past week from Trans Design, which is one of my favorite places to buy nail polish from online. And I got some China Glaze, some Essie, and I got one Orly from there. And then I also placed an order on um, Nordstrom.com and got a couple of Chanel polishes. Yeah, I know, too expensive, but um, I picked up two from there. So I'm going to get started with Trans Design first. And I will start with the China Glaze colors that I picked up. And I got four of them from, uh, I can't remember the name of the collection right now. They came out with one with glitters, and they're kind of like themed around Marilyn Monroe, I believe. Um, and I cannot remember the name of the collection right now. But anyway, I got four of the glitters. And the first one I got is called Marry a Millionaire. And this is purple, and it's got, it's purple for the most part, and then it has teal in it. Um, it has all different shapes of glitter in it. Like it has regular micro glitter and then it has like the bar glitter and it looks like the teal is the bar glitter part of it. But this one is so pretty. And obviously I'm a big purple fanatic so I love this one but I have never in my life seen anything even remotely close to this color so I really like that one. The next one is called Some Like It Hot, and actually I should be showing you the name, or Hot. Um, this one is kind of like a black, dark gray maybe, um, with green and gold and silver glitter. At least that's what it looks like to me. So that's that one. Uh, the next one is called Lorelei's Tiara. And this one is mostly silver, but then it has larger um, blue glitter in it. Hopefully you can see that. And I've never seen anything quite like this one before either. And then the last one I got is called Blonde Bombshell. And this one is just gold, and it has um, a couple different sizes of glitter, but they're, all the glitter in it is gold. So those are the four china glazes I picked up. And then I'll show you the one Orly nail polish I got, and I'm actually wearing it right now. And don't mind it because it's on day three, so it's starting to look a little ragged. I'm going to redo my nails today. But this is the color ember stone and you can see it on my nails this is a, a reddish orangey color I don't have anything else like this in my collection either so and this collection was called mineral effects I believe um, there's like I think there's six colors and this is the only one that I thought was nothing remotely like what I have already. Um, all the other colors are really awesome though. There's a really cool um, purple one, and um, but it was kind of similar to ones I've gotten before. So I just got this one and I just think it's gorgeous. And then Essie came out with a new collection and I believe it's called Lux Effects because that's what it says on the lid. Um, but there's five colors in that. I got all five. And one thing I absolutely love about Trans Design is they've been having their SD polishes on sale for $4 a piece, which is half price of what they charge you in any other store that I've been to. I think maybe Target, it's a little less than $8, but most places it's usually $8 for a bottle of SD polish. And for the last several months, uh, they've been giving it to me for four dollars so even though it's not advertised as four dollars anymore on the site they ended up refunding the money back like half the money I spent they gave back to me 
So I still only paid $4 a piece. So I got all of them and I will show them to you now. The first one is called Pure Pearl Fection. And all of these I believe are just meant to be used as top coats. So don't expect any of these to be opaque when you put them on. They're just to put over another nail polish. And this one's just a really nice white kind of, um, just kind of a snowy little finish going on. This one would be really good for the holidays. It just give you like that snow globe kind of effect. Um, it's just really fine shimmer. And the next one is as gold as it gets. And this one is just gold glitter. It's pretty fine gold glitter. I do have one similar to this already from OPI, but I, I held the, them up next to each other and this one is a little more dense than the OPI one. So I'll probably like this more because I'm not real crazy about the OPI one because it's just really, it's the same size glitter, but it's really sparse in the polish, like in the jelly base. So um, I don't really reach for that one very often. I think I'm going to like this one a lot more. The next one is just so pretty. It's like a pearlescent color. It's called Shine of the Times. And look at that. It just, it's, it reflects like every color. It's very iridescent um, glitter. And I just think this one's going to be so cool. Especially in the sunlight, it's going to be really cool. And then the last two I got are more chunky kind of glitter. First one is Set in Stones. And this one is just a big chunky silver glitter. And finally the last one uh, is called a Cut Above. And I don't have any glitter color like this at all. Not even remotely close. This looks like kind of a rose gold. Very, um, very different from any other glitter I have. I don't have anything rose gold. Uh, very, very pretty color. Okay, that's it for Trans Design. And as far as swatching goes, I ran out of my little nail wheels. So I can swatch these, but I'm expecting to get some. I'm probably going to pick some up really, really soon. So what I want to do is do swatches later. And um, I'm probably going to put them on my Facebook page if I get some followers. That I, I just created this Facebook page like yesterday. So if you want to follow me on Facebook, link will be below. And I plan on doing swatches on there. So if you're interested in seeing swatches of these, as soon as I get my nail wheels, I'm going to try to post pictures on my Facebook page, so that will be cool. Okay, and then from Nordstrom, I got these two Chanel polishes. And the first one I'm gonna show you is from their holiday collection, so it's pretty new. I think it's limited edition, I'm not positive. They might add it uh, to the permanent line, I have no idea. But it's called Rouge Carat or Carrot. And that's the color. It's um, it's kind of red, but it has a little bit of a pinky undertone to it. And I just thought this was a really beautiful color for the holidays. So I just I love Chanel polishes just because of the dimension they have to them. Um, I know they're twenty five dollars and it's ridiculous, and I I don't have a lot of them. I think I only have like seven counting these two now and I'm certainly not going to start trying to buy the whole collection of these because they're just too insane but the thing about Chanel polishes is they just I don't know they just have this dimension that no other nail polish brand I know of has so I just really love them and I love this color and I wanted to pick up the other color I got anyway because I don't know of anything just like this color anywhere so when I was getting one, I thought I should get two just because then I got free shipping. You know that thing where they suck you in free shipping and it's ridiculous because you end up spending more money than you would have if you would have just paid for the shipping. 
But anyway, um, <laughs> I couldn't resist. So the color that I've been wanting for a very, very long time, like probably like at least the last six months I've been wanting this color. And it's the Black Pearl. And I don't have anything like this. I, I don't know of another brand that has anything like this. Um, and again, just with the dimension to the color, it's so unique because it's, I, I can't even describe Chanel polishes most of the time. The colors are just so different from anything I see from any other company. So I'm very excited to try this out. And actually, like I said, I need to change my polish today and I'm thinking I'm going to try this one out. So anyway, that's what I got for my nail polishes. Um, and if you guys have any questions, let me know. And like I said, I'm going to try to post pictures of swatches as soon as I get my nail wheels. So if you do want to see them, stay, uh, stay in touch on my Facebook page to, to see those. So I hope you guys really like this video. And I will talk to you again real soon. Bye.